Nick Cannon Mornings, Power 106. You know what it is. It's time for up close and personal conversations. Just close conversations where people are doing their thing, fixtures in the game, young artists making moves. Uh, and this young lady is all of the above and so much more. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to meet Coyla Ray. How you doing? What's going on? You good? Yeah, I'm chilling. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, I mean, uh, see you buzzing like crazy all over the place, like jumping in the music game and then just your fans loving you, going crazy. How does that, like for someone like yourself, how does that movement begin? Um, it happened fast. I mean, I haven't even been signed for like a year yet. It's about to be a year. Um, I just activated my Instagram, what, October 2018? Yeah, damn. About to hit, like, what, 1.2 million? Yeah. We are 1.2. Um, just been grinding, applying pressure nonstop. You know, me and the team, since day one, dropped my first video, Goofy Ass Niggas on, uh, what was on, uh, YouTube. Yeah. Neek, Neek shot it. Shout out to Neek. Neek right there is my videographer, my best friend. That's um, what's up. And it just started doing numbers. And we dropped Huddy, signed a label, and we've just been going crazy ever since. Yeah, and it's like, I heard that you was like, just like, quit your job. Word. Like, got yeah. back focused. I was in sales. I was a saleswoman. So uh, <laughs> I was living on my own since I was like 17. I had got my own crib. Yeah. And uh, I had gotten to a little heartbreak. So I had wrote this first song called Fuck Nigga Prayer. <laughs> And then uh, I That's wrote where it always it yeah. comes from that place of heartbreak. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So I wrote that shit and dropped it on SoundCloud, and then from there it was history. Yeah, I'm nah, like, that's dope. This job. And we also we often talk about like yo worst job ever and all of that stuff. But you was just really like yo, I got to get right to to my artistry, and I couldn't like sales like that. That probably had to be the. I didn't want to work for nobody. And my last job, it was like it was Amazon. It was an e-commerce business, so I oh, was okay. speaking to customer service. Dealing with people to looking who, to you to fix their problems. Oh my god! Like I'm dealing with UPS and FedEx how, problems. How would you answer the phone? Like I'll be like, <clears throat> you ring, ring, put ring, your, ring, <laughs> ring, ring. Put your put, put your professional. Put my shit on, I'll be like, good morning. Hi, my name's Koi. How may I help you? Or I'll be like, hi, good morning. Am I speaking with John, the business owner? Yeah. Or I'll be yeah. So you would be call the them? Owner. Hell yeah! Or that would be the first job. But like, if they call, I'll be like, "Hi, am I speaking with Eric?" He'll be like, "Yeah, I have a problem. I didn't receive my package. Hold on, Eric. Give me one moment. Let me go ahead and place you on a brief hold, and I'll be right back to assist you." Really? Where, and then I'll be like, "Yo, this is some bullshit, Coy. Yeah, yeah, my my no service is off. Like somebody over in that motherfucker got to fix this they shit." They'd be like, "My package is wet in the rain. You gotta <laughs> send it back." And this is just some bullshit. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah nah. We always say like people. If that's like a thankless job. People don't appreciate the the people that are actually helping you in no. in, in customer service and sales. And you know what's crazy? The mother. It was a small family owned business, so the mother that owned the business was like right behind me. Like she oh. sat right behind me. So she was always on your head. Yeah, but at that point, I knew I was about to stop and I like quit because I was on that shit like. Listening to instrumentals. Like, <laughs> I was on instrumentals on YouTube. I'm writing on paper. She'd be like, turn the music down. I'm like, I got on I'm, I'm, I'm focused right I'm like, now. I'm out of here. Was you on some like half-baked shit when you quit? Like, fuck you, fuck you. I ain't never came She's back. She's cool. Yeah, and I ain't never came back. I said, fuck that. I ain't, I ain't never come. I ain't never come. But the, my homegirl that was there, she hit me recently. She was like, I see your success. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you see me, baby. So where, see where is it going? What's, what's the play? Like, where do you see it? Uh, I'm global, man. Yeah. I'm global. I ain't, I'm, listen, it's a lot, a lot of competition out here, but I don't even see myself on that category. Like, I'm, I'm up scale. Like, yeah. I'm trying to be here for a long time. Yeah, the, the, the streets is talking. They saying, like, you, you got that wave. And obviously you see with, you know, the, the female wave in hip hop, they're dominating in, in music right now. And like you said, you on your own vibe. Word. What's separating you from everybody else? I'm versatile as fuck. Like, and besides that, I actually am. Uh, my melodies is crazy. Like, yeah. I write my music, and uh, I'm just creative, and I'm I'm me. You know, right. like it's really no other koi. Yeah, like, there's a lot of other. You know what I'm saying? But there ain't no other koi. So. But it's so many different versions of of when uh, a young boss, young female boss, jumps on the mic. And and it's been up for debate quite a bit lately. Like you got that as we been coining it lately, strappers, which are <laughs> or stripper rappers. Stripper, okay, okay. <laughs> and then you have like the vibe of like real 
MCs, like whether it's like the rap cities. And then you got the people that's like swagging, that kind of feels like they in the, the, the SoundCloud band. And then you got people that are hip hop influenced, but like more melodic and, and singing yeah. and, and, you know, kind of just emotional uh-huh. type of music. Do you fall into any of those categories? I fall into every category. I'm with the strippers. I'm with the <laughs> sad. I'm with the turn. But you know what's different about me? I forgot the gangsters, too. It's some gangster-ass nah, chicks, too. <laughs> listen, one thing that's always, because, like, I listen to, I have a group around boys. I got five brothers. So I right. listen to nothing but, you know, a bunch of niggas. So it's yeah. like, there's really, I wanted, I always wanted to be that female that, like, if a nigga is riding down the hood, like, I want him to feel comfortable blasting my music. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah, because there's certain artists out there that even, like, they, they yeah. big artists, and, you know, people had that problem a lot of times. Like, yeah. you can't be tough listening to Nicki Minaj talking Not about sucking here, like, and licking, and, like, you can't you can't rap along with Nicki's word. lyrics because she's talking about, same thing with Lil' Kim. Like, as, as hard as some of Lil' Kim shit was, yeah, I used to be scared of it. No, hey, I can't really yeah, say that out word, loud as, word. A, as a masculine man. I don't think I would, I don't know how I would feel if I see somebody, <laughs> if I see a nigga down here drop top singing that shit, like, <laughs> Right. I don't know. I'm Fact. questioning it. So, you know. I so, you want to be comfortable with, like, yo. Hell yeah. A lot of, nigga, it's 50-50. Yeah, I'm yeah. 50, 50, 50 men, 50 women. They love me. Like, and, and it's, the music is, like, definitely the, the shit that niggas could listen to. So, if you had to say you had an influence or someone like, yo, I'm I'm going to move like that when I get on, what's your influence musically? Mm, musically, my biggest influence is, like, I always say Lady Gaga. You really? Word. <laughs> like that's so that's Gaga. a surprise. Uh, Tell me why. Cause she don't give a fuck. Like that Lady is, Gaga just don't true. care, and she's talented, and you know her her um her stage performance is crazy. Like I mean, she's it's yeah, like, it's, you know what I'm saying. She goes next level. Yeah, her, from her outfits shit. to being a Out, musician yeah, to everything, the theatrics. Sing, yeah, it's act, all kinds of shit, bro. It's just like that's art. Um, Chief Keith definitely. I like okay, shouts out to Keith. G yeah. Turbo. Yeah, okay. Uh, Derek, Chicago, yeah. I yeah. to a lot of Chicago rappers. A Boogie. And yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Still listening to the first A Boogie. Okay. Word. That's a vibe. That's a hell of a spectrum to go from Lady Gaga to Chief Keef. <laughs> like, that's some different shit. And then, so tell me about the, the big record. Um, Big is featuring Lil Gata. It's going crazy right now. It's got a, it's it's lit. Yeah, you know, it's turnt. So you so you feel like this like because you drop uh Big and the Added record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and dropping them both to just see like yo which one which one is riding. Listen, I've been I got so much music and I ain't dropped since Huddy. Oh right. So like I you know I'm not now when you get signed to a label you got to deal with like a lot of legal shit. It's a different it's right. A different ain't that world. some shit like you got the clearances and who did the beat and the writers and like before you could just upload this shit and it, and it happens now. Got to be a. You don't want to get sued. Strategic. Everybody has an opinion. It's just different. You don't want to drop when this artist is dropping on the label. Word, and word, word. It's a is good that frustrating thing. for you? It gets frustrating, but I mean, you know, you just got to just trust the process. For yeah. Us. As long as you believe in yourself, like as long as you know your worth too, like you know where you're going to be, like you good. So what's the, what's the best part of this? Like, is it making the music? Is it performing the music? The best part of this shit is just like, enjoying the show with my gang like every day is just yeah. something new like me and the team is just experiencing shit that we never thought we would experience before or shit that I used to dream about like we used to talk about like damn I can't wait to we used to be in the nosebleeds and now we just backstage or we on a stage and we performing like shit crazy and yeah. we get to experience it together like and we just be turned and we have fun with it. That's the best part that we have fun with it. We make sure we have fun. Hey, you got to and at the all money, times. Of <laughs> you can't forget about the bag. Nah. Having an up close and personal conversation with the one and only Coy LeRae. Um, and then, you know, usually this is how we do. I I, I think you can handle this. I, I you know, I, I got the vest on. I think I want to put you into the firing squad. Now, now, these are questions they could go either way, but you, you you, you got to answer them like, like, like a fixture, Let's like a it. boss. Let's do it. First question, always off top, it's the psychological question. They say there's only two emotions. Okay. Uh, and every other emotion is a subsidiary of these two main emotions. There's love and fear. Mm-hmm. All right, so which one would you rather be, loved or fear? I'd rather be loved. Really? Yeah, God put us on this earth to love. All right, 
But the fear, because fear comes, there's respect, there's reverence, there's all these other things that come into. So wait, you ra- okay, so you're asking if I'd rather people be scared of me? Not not like, scared, fear. Scared and fear, fear is different. Fear, fear? fear is like more of a reverence. Fear is like, mm-hmm. yo, I, I, I demand when I walk into the room, they know what it is. They gonna know what it is. Or is also, it? So they gonna know what it is, regardless, based off of you know what the fuck I do when it come to my music and my art. But right. as a person, I want to be loved. Like right. I want to be loved. I don't want nobody fear nothing. At the end of the day, if you if you fear, that's a good thing. But let that be a personal thing. On the other that, love me. Love you. Love me, cause it's a lot of motherfucking hate out here, and that's a, that's what be fucking up a lot of money. There it is. So a lot of a lot of business. Since we speaking of fear, what's Koi's greatest fear? My greatest fear? What the hell does that mean? What is the what is the what's greatest your, fear? What's the thing you most fearful of mm-hmm. in life? Failure. Failure. I'm definitely scared of failure, and uh, and I'm honestly scared to drown. Like, <laughs> I don't ever want to drown. Like, that <laughs> shit is just like that's like I, that's probably. My I always favorite. ask people like if you had to go out, if is it drowning or on fire? What's the worst? Drown. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a tough one. I'm right? like fire. I mean, drowning, drowning. <laughs> because honestly, that shit probably lasts quicker than a fire. Yeah, you'll be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> trying to I get it off. Trying to put your dead. ass out. <laughs> Suffering. Hell no. All right, what well, we lighting it up? Um, favorite movie all time. Uh, Lion King and on the Karate Kid. Oh, whatever. old Karate Kid or new Karate Kid? Yeah. The new one with Mr. Miyagi or Jackie Chan? Nah, with uh, Jaden Smith. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, see, I, I keep forgetting. I'm yeah, talking to a youngster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, don't, you don't know about Daniel son. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that, shit was so, that shit was trash. <laughs> that shit was trash. That shit was trash. Oh, they, that that's shit blasphemy was trash. right there. That shit was so trash. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, best piece of advice you've ever received? Uh, Best piece of advice to, to stay focused and to... To really like not let a lot of the bullshit on social media media fuck with you. I All would right. say I get a lot of great advice every day. I'm surrounded by a lot of great people. Worst piece of advice? Uh hit that motherfucking DM. <laughs> hit that Who the motherfucking fuck told you that? My dumb two right there. <laughs> they told me to hit that DM and that was probably the worst advice ever. It got me into some dumb shit. <laughs> That's 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 it. Don't take nobody advice when they tell you. A girl tell you slide this DM. Don't. I didn't know it. girls tell other girls to do that. I thought yeah, that was some nigga come shit. On. It's, come on, girls be like, like, like come so on. that so oh girls so that's like why they niggas. they that. amp them up like girl you should do that. Yeah, she they be like girl go go. I'm like and then when it's a dumbass idea then they be like I ain't even tell you like oh my that. God. And especially when you yeah. drunk and you leave had a little drink. She be like all right. Fuck that shit! I'm about to do this, and you like tell me to you slide. Now you wake up, you like fuck. He Cause now you, oh, yeah, right. you like damn. You fly niggas out? Nah. Oh, fuck that. I ain't fly niggas out. Hell no. Like, Hell that's no. some boss shit. Hell no. Let you me find a let uh-uh. a chick be in my DM t- uh-uh. talking about. Hey, Nick, I send you a flight. Uh-uh. I might just get on it to see what the <laughs> fuck is talking about. <laughs> nah, you gotta have more money than me. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Understood. Well said. All right, you on uh, death row. You get one last meal. What's that meal? My last meal is... <sighs> Damn, I would either say spaghetti, my mother's spaghetti. Uh, mom's spaghetti. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. With the Parmesan, with the sugar on top. <laughs> sugar on top? Yeah, a little bit of sugar. <laughs> Hell yeah. <All> right. <laughs> I put barbecue sauce in mine, but you know we what keep it light. Fuck? I know you gonna talk about what you just put sugar. Barbecue and, sauce is a whole nother taste. But it's cause no, cause you know what? Cause we would do like at the little barbecues, we would have spaghetti on the grill, so it like had a little bar. Spaghetti. I'm telling you, with the ribs, oh, y'all ain't, y'all ain't ready. Like y'all ain't ready joke. with the potato salad with the. I gotta come the, to your house. The, to see the what paper that's plate about, that's all understand. soggy and shit because the spaghetti and the potato salad. Either way, we okay? We got spaghetti. Is that it? That's all you got. Spaghetti it's your last and meal oysters. and oysters. Yeah, like the, a boss. But the the Japanese way. Oh, okay. The sauce, like that sauce. Right. Sushimi. Right. So, so mom's cook. She 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 ill with yeah, it. Yeah, my mom and my dad both cook. I love to cook. So like. You I, cook too. Yeah, I cook. I cook my ass off. All right, that's what's up. Most meaningful tattoo. Uh. This one right here. It's it's a it could be worse. Oh okay. Where? That's right. When'd you get that? 
This is probably like, I don't know, a couple, I don't know, six months ago. Oh, so it's new. Yeah, it's new. all my shit is, I got a lot of Because you tatted it all like yeah, crazy. Yeah, I tatted crazy. Yeah, I'm not done. You're not done? You gonna, how, how far are you going to go? You face tat status? Nah. I was about to say, you um, uh-uh, I mean, you close right here. Yeah, you, 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 you got you got the heart by the ear. <laughs> you too fly for the face. I can't. That's man. Co- like even right there. Like was you like, yo, this is kind of this is this my profile right here. Nah, this is right. This is this ain't the face. This is the this is the face. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> I got it's you. Like it stopped here. I got you. Uh, we talked about worst jobs. Are we going to stick with that, the sales for the, the customer service? Nah, my worst job was working at AMP Supermarket Cashier. What? Yeah. Cashiers get to the bag, though. It was the worst, though. Why? Because I was there for, like, hours watching a clock every minute. It would go by slow as hell. And then, like, if there was no customers, oh, my God. I was the fastest. I was bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bring them bitches up. But I... It was just you was on commission or some shit? Nah, I was <laughs> you on just trying to get done quick. That shit done. Like, I'm trying to get my lunch break. <laughs> I'm from, I'm clocked in from fucking like 2 to 11. And now, and was this your swag as the cashier? Or you had to, you had yeah, to. Yeah, I'm, nah, but you got to wear the, you got to wear the, the green, it come with a button up. It's like a green button up. Right. Yeah. And you'd be like, yo, hurry up with your shit. Like, word, you know? <laughs> word. like come on. You got to deal with the old people, too. It was, about the old, it was in Fort Lee, so, oh, man. Damn. A lot of old people, but they was like. And you're like, come on, hurry this up shit up. Like this. I'm like, oh, shit, I had to go around and help one for some time. Like, come on, let's go. Let's get this popping. Most prized possession. Mm. Most prized possession. What is that? Like, so, yeah, what, what's something that just means so much to you physically, something tangible? Uh. Some people say jewelry. Some people say. I was gonna say my jewelry, but my hair. <laughs> All right. My prize, my baby hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your you edges. My edges. Yeah, your edges is your most prized possession. That's my prize possession, <laughs> baby. Yeah, we definitely don't want those me. to go away. No, 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 no. Illest bar you ever spit. Uh. I said I never needed no one to like me. Cause ain't nobody like me. I do it with no effort. Gotta buy the boy ball means just to get them tailored in this Dior drip so mean with a thought I had no manners in. Uh, Some shit like that. You know? Okay. I, I, got, I got a couple. Yeah, that was saucy. You know that was saucy. All right, you're on the island. You only could take three things. What you taking? Mm. Stranded. I'm taking a pot. A so pot. I watch, listen, I watch a lot of catch and cook videos. Oh, okay. So like I'm catching and cooking my shit. So I gotta make sure I'm having like my little that's pot. Folk, that's the first time anybody ever said a pot. Nah, I'm having my little pot, my little fire, and yeah. uh I'm gonna let you have the matches. pot and the fire in one. And matches. Well, I'm, well, y'all, you can have all that in one. Three, okay, in one. Because okay, 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 there's okay. a pot. So that's the travel bag. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's the a pot tent. with the fire. A, a tent. tent. Got you. One more thing. I mean, I would bring my it, it, phone, but it ain't no electricity, so I'm gonna leave. But that. they got you. They got satellite phones. I mean, I, feel, well, well, phones? I mean, well, however you do it. What the fuck we about to talk about on the phone? For you, hours. Like yeah. you need to use my social media. Like yeah. you know, satellite got Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, it is Wi-Fi. Is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it connected to the satellite? Yeah, but how do you connect to the satellite? Oh, yeah, but you, nigga, satellite don't got nothing to do with the battery. <laughs> it is, don't got nothing to do with the battery. It has nothing to do with the battery. You fucking my head up. I'm like, the battery But the way, like, if you see a satellite phone, the shit is, like, this big. Like, it's not like your, it's not a, like a fucking Apple phone. It's it's a whole device I've never that, seen one. yeah, it runs on, like, a car battery. It's crazy. Is that from like back in the day? Yeah, they used it like the time like when like uh, the military used it okay. and like for they could pick up and call the White House and shit like that. Okay. But I'll give you one of those. That's a that's a good okay. three right there. Yeah. Favorite cuss word? Uh, bitch. <laughs> you you said that like you was like ashamed of it. Bitch, cuz I'm just like bitch. <laughs> I'm like bitch, 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 bitch. Get out. That's my shit. There that's it is. Like, one bitch, album you could listen to for the rest of your life. Only one album. <sighs> Drake, take care. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. yeah that that's a that's probably his best project in my opinion. Hell yeah, you play that shit on repeat. Every song is a hit. Yeah. Nah, that's fire. All right, uh, guilty pleasure. What's that? Like some shit that you you ain't guilty supposed pleasure. to like, but you like, like a little too much. I I like crazy. I like guilty pleasure. Like like when we fucking. 
Is that what we talking Let's about? Let's go there. Yank me up. And grab my <laughs> neck and throw me on the bed. Like, like this? Like, like what? Have you ever nah, had? No, 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 I was about to say, have you had someone just take you off your feet with one hand on some He-Man shit? Like this, yeah. <laughs> That's some little kid shit. <laughs> but you, so the aggressive, aggressive sex. I like sex. aggression word. And I, but so then, how, where's the line? Because that's, a, I always, I need like a permission slip I, or so like a, let me up. know. Uh, like, you choke too much, nigga. I'm, I'm really screaming. Like, listen, if yeah, because if you, <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, smack me a little bit, like, a, like a I'm, little bit, but don't, <laughs> ah, like, get the fuck, out. get out and start squaring, like, nigga, squaring up, like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Nah, nah. That's a hell of a visual right there. <laughs> so you like rough, but. Not too rough. Don't yeah, leave like no permanent gentle. marks. Nah, no permanent marks. Just rough enough. It's a, to it's an art form make to me this. Feel, make, me, make me feel your passion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Take my soul. It's called, you're supposed to Take your soul. soul. Yeah. How has your, your soul been taken I'm before? Like, snatch it. That, whoa. <laughs> Yes. See, I feel like you might be a little too young to have your soul taken before. I think so too, because I, I probably ain't even heavy yet, honestly. But you know, <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, like, but as far as I'm like, because you know, after knows. somebody take your soul, kids come after that shit. <laughs> like, I took, a, I took, I took. You took niggas I, souls? Yeah, like, come on. See, it's easy for women to take dude souls because that for it's sure. a it's a release. Once we release, it's, ah, Get the once, fuck once out ah, of here. like the souls is I gone. Said, you like gone, nigga. <laughs> like, fuck and then that. he sleep afterwards. Does that that piss you off afterwards? Or like, nigga, just be knocked out after sex come on my nigga if you sleep i mean honestly because that should be sleep. that's to you i might go to sleep uh because to me it's if to to if a chick goes to sleep it's after time, baby. that's your soul has <laughs> been taken you are trying to now recuperate and, and find your soul again it's, I, it's a badge of honor to me if i knock it like because if i knock it down and you go mow the lawn i didn't do my fucking job <laughs> <laughs> like you up doing jumping jacks Something didn't happen. I yeah, need you nah, to be like, that's a problem. You need can't to be walk, KO, sleep. sweating, yeah. need water. Word. That's the, that's Word. the vibe. If she's still like, that means you ain't. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, artists, top five artists that inspire you. Or well, we did that already. You said the Gaga, but I'm going to just give it in the top five realm. You got five artists that you want to listen to. Your favorite artists. That I'm listening to? G Herbo, constantly. I'm listening to... You're a Herbo to, fan. Yeah, I'm, I'm a... I'm, I fuck I've with Herbo heavy. I've been listening to Herb since... Yeah. He talks fucking... He making pink pictures, bro. You really yeah. You feel like you grew up in Chicago listening to that nigga. That shit crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's Herbo. Who else? Uh, all time, though. This is all time. Yeah, all it ain't gotta time. be just be hip-hop. All time. And it ain't just... It's crazy. So Herbo's really in your all soul. time. Word. I'm yeah. like, let me go to my Apple music because I really don't even... Yeah. I don't li if I Is show Gaga in there cuz you you said you kind of like nah, her. Nah, she's you on my old old playlist. But right. Like right now all I literally got is like nobody. Like literally. I look, I got old A Boogie, I got some Burna Boy. Yeah. I got Burna some Boy Fire. Easy. I don't know who that is. Uh, future, <laughs> definitely future? To future for sure. Look okay. all this Chief Keef. Look at Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Chief Keef, Lil Dirk. Dirk. Y W L E Kodak, definitely listen to Kodak. Got a little TJ in there. J Critch. Right. K Camp, Roddy, Cardi, Plain White Tees. I got the Plain White Tees. <laughs> uh, I fuck with that. I got some Hurridge, Pablo, D Savage, Lil Baby, 21, Saw Baby, Gwen Stefani, Old, JoJo, Lloyd. That's really okay. it. So you all over the place. Word. You all over the spectrum. Got, right now. Yeah, like, mm. All right, here we go. Childhood Crush. Uh, Little bow wow, go ahead. Sleep. Hell no! Get the fuck out of here! No, that was it. He was cute, but nah, not my, not my type. Nah, I'm trying to think who was bow really wow. my crush. You just don't know. You know you was on that shit. Nah, I had posters. No, B five. Okay. I was in love with Brian. You look like y'all could be related. Like yeah, those are my brothers right like, now. Now yeah, but now B five was fire. They, Brian was a cutie with them freckles back in the day when they came out. I was like, sheesh. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was in love with him. Nah, I, I, I'll give you that. It's a genie. And he like, yo, fuck them three wishes. You only got one. What is it? Can I ask for more wishes? Everybody <laughs> says that. I knew you were going to say that. Now nah, you did that. What's the one wish? Can I ha I want to, I wish that I had a, a fairy like the fairy odd parents. Ah. Uh -huh. See? For the rest of my life. There it is. Now, we talking rest of your life. We talking legacy. That's how we always end the firing squad. Hell yeah. One word that describes Koi LeRae when all said and done, when they say, yo, she was. Wow. Wow. That's what they're going to say. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. That's all they that's the first thing they say. Wow, I couldn't believe it. I mean Wow. Oh, wow, she's so That's strong right there. I fuck with that. Wow, I love the way she Wow. Wow. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an up close and personal conversation with the wowing. Wow. <laughs> Coy LeRae. Yes, sir. Big things. Nick Cannon mornings. Let's go.